Jackie Bennett from Ida County. Boot, scoot, and boogie. No, boots aren't just made for dancing. Cowboy boots are used for everyday wear, working, and for protection. They can be as unique and personal as a tattoo, but they can be taken off at night. That's the long and short of it, from heel to toe. History. There is no such thing as the first cowboy boots. The original inventor is yet unknown. Cowboy boots started in 1630, but did not become styled until the 1880s. The end of the Civil War was the beginning of a new life for cowboy boots. The first pair of boots had no style. They had a narrow toe, a high riding heel, and a leather shaft to the knee. It was usually black or brown leather. Cowboy boots will no longer be known as Western wear. They will now be known as Well-Worn Foundation of America. The change over time has been huge. In the late 1920s, boots became the new fashion. In the 1940s, boots were made with short tops to save leather and also made with exotic leathers. This was the start of the golden age of cowboy boots. Fashion. The fashion of the boots are the reason for popularity. With them being decorated, pointed toes took off and a growth of population, popularity. Cowboy film icons tuck their boots into their, their pant legs into their boots to show the real style of the boots. The design on boots. The stitching on the boots adds lots of decoration. With the exotic leathers, they give them a unique look. Cowboy boots can be altered to look like exotic leathers, but really, it's just cowhide. Like this boot. It looks like it's a cheetah print, but it's just natural cowhide. Cowboy boot boots can be made of many kinds of skins, including cowhide, elephant skin, alligator skin, and even human skin, but many more. Makers and makings. There are two makers of cowboy boots. You have factories and cobblers. A few factory boot companies include Justin, Tony Lama, Roper, and Ariat. They now average around $200 today. A cobbler is a person that makes boots exactly how you want them. They are average around $450 today. People wanted their own unique style and own design, and they realized the cost up front is high, but knowing that you have your own unique pair that nobody else has can be very special. There are 372 steps in boot making. There are seven main parts. You have the pull straps, or pull holes, that allow you to pull your boot on. You have the shaft, which is the whole upper part of the boot. You have the vamp, which connects the bottom of the boot to the shaft. You have the counter, which is all the material above the heel. The heel cap has the most wear and tear. And the outsole is everything you see on your outside of the boot. And the weld is the bottom of the boot, usually leather or rubber. Styles. There are four main styles of cowboy boots. You have western riding boots, buckaroo boots, rubber boots, and packer work boots. Western riding boots have no laces. There are quite a few now that are for square toe for fashion. They have a smooth leather sole and have a tall shaft to protect their legs. They are also known to have a high angle heel. Buckaroo boots have pull holes instead of pull straps. They also have a deep scalp with a very tall riding heel. Roper boots are the most original and most popular boot today. They have the lowest heel of all, which is one inch. And many ropers have laces for a snug fit, but these ropers are not used for horse riding. Packer work boots have a shaft that is 10 inches or higher. They are mainly lace-ups and made for ranchers. And also have a rubber sole, but made with a thick, durable leather. There are three different toe types for the four styles. You have the square toe, which are very stylish and trendy. With these boots, your foot has the advantage of being able to move and have a range variety so anybody can wear them. You have the round toe, which are perfect for any occasion, casual or western, and also have the comfortable with a wider range. Pointed toe are very popular in today's fashion world and are popular by women over men. You have two main heels, the riding heel and the roper heel. The riding heel is designed for horse riding. It, it prevents the rider's foot from sliding out of the stirrup. You also have the roper heel, which is also known as the walking heel. It makes a 90 degree angle with the sole of the boot. And it has a lower heel to walk and to work in. Uses. There are many different uses for cowboy boots. You have protection from a taller shaft. 
and these are the only shoes that give you the proper protection. Cowboy boots are also used for today's fashion world and also used in rodeos by adding spurs to them. Cowboy boots are also used for ranchers working and square or western dancing, but always used for everyday wear. Care. Cowboy boots are really easy to clean and to care for. With regular leather, you wipe off the mud immediately, sponge off the dry dust with a damp sponge or cloth, and let it dry naturally. And use leather conditioner so the leather does not dry out. With exotic leather, you have to care for more carefully. Use special leather condition to fit each exotic type. Use conditioner cream and never let it dry out. Cowboy boots mean a lot since they're passed from generation to generation. Cost. Cost of boots have changed over the years because of economic changes. In 1945, during World War II, cowboy boots with the leather they were saved for all time to need. Cost of custom boots cost $8.50 in the 1800s, but now average around $450 today. Cost of boots from the factory cost anywhere from $3 to $25 in the 1800s, but now average around $200. With many different styles, boots are used for many things, especially fashion. They are now known as Well-Worn Foundation of America. Walk loud, stand tall, and step forward. I found all my information from reliable internet sources and from this book, Cowboy Boots, The Art and Soul by Jennifer June. Are there any questions? Are you wearing cowboy boots right now? The question was, am I wearing cowboy boots right now? And yes, I am. Wearing cowboy boots. Do we see them? Yes, you can. They're square toe. And why those boots? Um, I chose these boots because they're very comfortable, and I like the square toe because they're just wider for my foot since I have a wider foot, and it's just a normal boot just for everyday walking. Are there any other questions? And I do ride horses every once in a while at my grandma and grandpa's, but I don't own any horses. Are there any other questions? If there are no further questions, this concludes my educational presentation. Thank you.